assigning tests within your test management tool seems like a simple concept but in practice it's never quite that straightforward. A lot depends on how your test management tool implements its assignment at the test set, the test case and the test step level. We're going to take a quick look at QA Complete and ALM Complete. To put this in context, QA Complete has the concept of a test library. This is where we develop our tests and prepare them ready to be used in our test sets. A test set then contains multiple test cases, for example this functional area order maintenance test set which has five test cases and these test sets and associated test cases are then run against a configuration and a release. So how does assignment of tests work in this context? Well, within the test library, we can assign tests both as an owner and as an assigned to field. So the owner might be the person who creates the test and the person it's assigned to is the person who's responsible for developing the test. In relation to this, we have test steps and should point out that test steps cannot be assigned um, individually within a test case. The test sets then, we have again the ability to assign the test set um, in terms of the owner, perhaps the person who created the test set and assign to the person that's responsible for either developing the test set or executing the test set. Each test set then contains multiple test cases and again here we can see that we've got 16 test cases from our test library contained within the test set. Note that the test cases within a test set cannot be assigned at the test case level. The assignment field we're looking at here is the assignment value within the test library. At runtime then we'll see that the test set is executed against a release and a configuration and again all of the tests are assigned to the person who's assigned to the test set level rather than the test case level so you can't assign individual tests to different people at the test run level. You could, however, run through a number of tests within the test set and then end that run and pause it and then reassign the test set to somebody else to complete the test run. In terms of finding out who tests are assigned to or test sets, there's three features here. You could set up a filter to look for tests or test sets that are assigned to a particular individual so we can search on the assigned to value within the fields here. The second approach is to view on the dashboards and from here we can see assignments of test sets and tests at the test library level. And the third approach is to use the groups by feature, which is probably the quickest way, and group all of our tests by who they're assigned to, and then perhaps we could drill down a further level, perhaps by status. So in this example, I can see all of my tests, 50 tests that are assigned to me, some of which are in approved state, some of which are in design, and some of which are new. So to recap then, QA complete assignment works at the test case and the test set level and there's no capability to assign at the test step level or to assign different test cases within a test set.